Hi folks, welcome to Community Pulse. I'm your host, Brian Lamore. On today's show, we'll be talking about the, the Myrna Loy Center. They're putting on a short film festival and they want you to contribute. They'll be having the Martin Holt Short Film Festival coming up real quick this Friday, August 12th, 2016. At 5 p.m., the registration closes and they'll be announcing a theme once you know what the theme is and you've been registered, you have 72 hours or until Monday night to get a quick time flash drive into the Myrna Loy to have your entry considered as a part of the festival. And on the next Monday, August 22nd at 7.30, they'll be showing all the films and announcing the top three places. Now this is the 10th annual short film festival and they're honoring Martin Holt, who is an original uh, founder of both the Myrna Loy and here at HCTV. In fact, we're in the Martin Holt studio at HCTV. Of course, we have a wonderful guest from the Myrna Loy. We have Benji Crosgrove. You're the film programmer there. Welcome to the show. It's great to have you here. Yeah, thanks. It's nice <laughs> to be here. Great. Well, let's start at the top. 10th annual Martin Holt Short Film Festival. What's the objectives of this and how did it come about? Well, it came about about, like I say, 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, myself and our present executive director, Chris Holmes, mm -hmm. came up with this idea to give local filmmakers a chance to show their films on the big screen at the Myrna Loy Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, I uh, have a degree in media arts from the University of Montana. Yeah. And one of the greatest parts about uh, making short films was getting to see them in sort of a movie theater style experience. So yeah. we thought that we would give local filmmakers a chance to do just that. And so we came up with this idea of having a 72 hour film festival. And the way it works is uh, Friday at five o'clock, all our participants are emailed out a theme. And the theme is usually pretty general. Uh, in the past, I've used themes such as speed, luck, time, and so we send that out to them and they have 72 hours to bring us back a completed film, six minutes or less, mm -hmm. uh, that somehow relates to that theme. And it can be pretty tangential the way that we don't want to, you know, tie them down with this is exactly what you have to have in your movie. Uh -huh. But uh, we just want to give them an idea so that it proves to us that they did in fact make it in the last 72 hours. Mm -hmm. And then the following Monday, we go ahead and screen all the films. Uh, we do have a little panel of judges who judge the film so that we can give out some awards. Mm -hmm. But uh, the main idea behind the festival is so that all these local filmmakers, and a lot of them are younger, uh, get a chance to see what it's like to have their film shown in front of an audience and get that immediate audience reaction, uh, see if their films are funny or if people are reacting in the proper ways. Mm -hmm and just get it, it's just a fun chance to see a film that they made with their family and their friends and audience members that they don't know and see how that experience works. Mm -hmm. So we've been doing it for about 10 years now. This is our 10th year. Yeah. And so right now we're really uh, trying to drum up some uh, participants. You know, mm -hmm. we have a few people signed up already, but it'd be great, the more the merrier for this type of thing. The mm -hmm. more people we have there, the more films, the more diversity we have in the films, uh, the more fun it is. The more fun it is. Well, you know, when you mention filmmakers, the first thought that comes to mind, we have some serious actors, some serious directors, some serious camera people here in town, and cameras can become very expensive, but you want this very broad. I mean, people can make a, a movie on their, their phone, their smartphone, can't they? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the smartphone technology right now, the uh, cameras that you can get on an iPhone today are better than the cameras that I was using <laughs> back in 2004, 2004, 2003 at the University of Montana. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all HD now. They look great. Um, sound can be an issue, but you can get around that in a lot of different ways. You can actually bring in a little bit of sound equipment or you can do just voiceovers. Um, people get around it all the time. And so, you know, we just want filmmakers to have a chance to go out there and be creative figure out interesting ways to use cameras and to tell stories. And mm -hmm. so that's really our goal for this program. Great. Well, now a big issue with uh, cameras and television, there's so many formats out there. And you want to make sure you got a format that works. And what's the format and how easy is it to use that format? It's very, as long as it's uh, eventually given to us on a jump drive that's in QuickTime format. Mm -hmm. We can play it on a computer and our computers can hook up directly into our projectors at the Myrna Loy Center. So mm -hmm. that's all I need. So any style of QuickTime format that will play, uh, we can play it. 
and you can edit it. I know some of these short film festivals, they want six minutes shot straight, but this can be oh, uh, yeah. mix, mixed together. We hope that you go ahead and edit it. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. tough to shoot a straight six minute, yeah. six minute shot. So um, you can go ahead and attempt that. And it doesn't have to, it can be less than six minutes as well. So if you want to do just a quick, you know, one minute, you know, you have a, an idea that just sparks something for you, whether it's because of the theme or you have it mm -hmm. beforehand, but this is the time to go out and shoot it over the weekend. So mm -hmm. yeah, you can get together actors. Some people uh, don't even use actors. They'll just shoot some shots, some interesting shots, and they'll put a voiceover or they'll put in some titles and it'll just let it stand on its own. So you can do it a, a lot of different ways. So the information is very broad as to what you can do. And I imagine the rules and everything are it's on the Myrna Loy website. Uh, so you can get more information there. But uh, you would like to know if someone is going to be submitting something. That's where the registration deadline is. Yeah, and all you have to do to register is call or come into the Myrna Loy Center or email me at benji.cosgrove at myrnaloycenter.com. Mm -hmm. Any of those ways, and we'll put you down on the list. It's free to enter. Um, and then I will email you a theme Friday at, six, at 5 o'clock, and then you're off and running. Mm -hmm. You have 72 hours. And I imagine you got some really good stories of people saying, okay, I've got three actors together, four actors. I got a couple people who like to write. I got two people who like to run camera. And one person knows how to edit. So they all get together. I bet they have a good time. Oh, you should <laughs> see some of, some of the ones in the past. It, you could just tell how much fun people were having making them. Mm -hmm. um, you get some that are, you know, there's two people, you know, involved. And then some you get a whole cast of like 10. I think we've had as many as 10 actors in one single short. Mm -hmm. And so they're fun both ways, and it's just great to see, uh, you know, young and old people using their creativity. And, uh, you know, we call it the Martin Holt Film Festival mm -hmm. because Martin, who was one of the founders and huge supporters of the Myrna Loy Center, especially when we moved from Second Story Cinema into the current uh, county jail where the Myrna Loy Center is now, he was uh, basically the sp spearheaded that change from Second Story to the Myrna Loy Center. Mm -hmm. And every year he was he entered into this film festival, and he always had a great, interesting, <laughs> strange film <laughs> yeah. that we love to show. And then, unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago, and then we named uh, the short film festival in his honor. Mm -hmm. And I know that he was very uh, uh, pivotal in setting up HCTV, what we're on right now, yes. and we're in the Martin Holt studio. So he was very uh, active in communicative uh, arts. He loved making films. <laughs> yes. He made films all day long. Like, like Martin has a library of films like no one else probably in the entire state. Mm -hmm. He shot everything on film and has, uh, we just had our 40th anniversary of Second Story Cinema and we pulled some of his archived films out mm -hmm. and showed them and yeah. oh man it's amazing yeah he was great. He was That's really back great. when film was film right? It was <laughs> yeah some, some of it was film some of it was early digital yeah. Great well now we're drawing to a close on the show Benji what are some of the final thoughts you'd like our viewers to know about the upcoming Martin Holt Short Film Festival? Well, I think we've covered a lot. I, I would encourage anybody to enter, and no matter uh, what your experience is making films, this is a really fun event. Mm -hmm. And so don't be intimidated because it's a film festival. It's for everyone. It really is. Young and old, um, non -ex no experience to experienced filmmakers. Everyone is encouraged to participate. And I also would just give a plug for the actual event on the 22nd, Monday the 22nd at 7.30. If you, even if you didn't participate, come check out these films. It's only five bucks to get in, and it's a really fun night. Yeah, and it's amazing the creative, talented people we have that you will see there, right? Oh, it's great, yeah. <laughs> they come out of the woodwork for this event. They might be launching their careers. <laughs> no, absolutely. There's very talented people in the area. <laughs> well, Benji, thank you so much for doing this and the Myrna Loy. It's a wonderful experience and wonderful opportunity for a lot of people to participate. Yep, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Again, for our viewers, you know, we're talking about the Martin Holt Short Film Festival, the 10th annual. Uh, you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be the director, a professional actor. If you want to have some fun, get together with a few friends, or you're very creative, you want to do it yourself, this Friday, uh, the 12th of August at 5 p.m., they want to know ahead of time that you're going to be participating in this, but registration closes. And at 5 p.m., they'll be sending you via email the topic for the film festival. Then you have till Monday evening, April 15th, to make sure that it comes into the uh, 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 Mar to the Myrna Loy in a quick time format in a jump drive that you can give it to them. And it has to be appropriate for all audiences. That's an important thing. 
One week later, Monday the 22nd, is the film festival. That's 7.30 at the Myrna Loy. Well, they'll be airing the videos or the movies, and they'll be making awards to the top three individuals who a panel has selected as being the best short films. This is the 10th annual already. It's a great time. It'll be a lot of fun. I might even try to get some of my friends together to do something. So I hope to see you there. For Community Pulse, I'm Brian Lamore. Thank you for joining us.